We got some beef right here. We got Logan Paul. He has two goons. He's got, and they're both right here. But one of them just left. We're going to see what happened. I don't know what happened. He really dissed himself right off. The cat placement. The corner cat placement. Oh, yeah. There's a situation where he walked off on the podcast and everyone thought it was because Bobby Lee made a joke. Yeah, right. And they cut around it. You said that well, he... I didn't. When, I have no control over that. I didn't. Uh, you saw, like, you I saw tried to make him. peace with this guy. I know. Multi, you've seen me. <laughs> yeah. I tried like, to but why did he leave, bro? This is what we want to know. I try to be cool. We don't give a fuck about this. Way, and I'll just say this. We'll just empty it out. I never had a problem with Bobby Lee. No, he knows. I that. had a problem with the way that Logan and you were kind of gassing him to keep doing. He started the episode putting his balls in my face. I let that one go. Then every two seconds he kept grabbing my dick. I don't think. How would you feel if a man that I has his back really towards you? Like I never actually seen that episode. I'm not gonna lie. Dick. I just seen the walkout so in Fury. And you can't smack or beat the living well, brakes off of well, this guy. So, so I, because Logan makes me apologize to this man. Or I don't have a job on Impulsive anymore. But when I got pushed out, and I'm seeing that I'm getting pushed out, and I start my own show, do you know what my final straw was? What? I got uh, my show going, and then not only was I controlled and pushed around on Impulsive, but then Logan's making calls and directing my show. And I'm saying, hey, man, you can't tell me what to do on my own show. That's not okay. What was that about? He told me that I couldn't take Celsius. And then I said, hey, he man, didn't tell you that you couldn't I take Celsius. Messages. No, he didn't tell you that you couldn't take He's Celsius. He's like, prime gang only, Celsius, or you so die. Eight, six months after the deal's done, you're more than welcome to rejoin the show if you need to make money. But they're always trying to find a way to push me out. I don't... You know what he told me? I, 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 told, I think you know that was... Told, I think that was this a is fair... A guy who's, I, this is a guy who's sending a screenshot... Wow, he's crying for him so still. Okay? And on top of that, we never got any money from... Logan Defense Squad. He says, I won't pay you a dime. You're here because of me. <laughs> and then I said, well, what do you want me to He's do? He's like, you're my I son. I got no money. And he says, go have your rich dad pay for it. Listen, no. That's Look at me. No, that's but no, but words. you. He really thinks you're you rich. Okay. Say that the way that you handled it from a word standpoint was. He didn't know. Mature, acceptable. What did I say? That I beat the fucking brakes off of him? Correct. If he was in front of me, I would have swung at him. But that's what I'm trying to say. We were at a point where no one was speaking properly to each other. That would have been an interesting person, fight. <laughs> and George, and he's at least like a trained boxer. He'll fuck you up. Three. I sent you a very nice but he's going to go out, bro. Please. <laughs> I sent Mike, you went to Celsius you to try to get He's like, win, lose, or draw. Call me and talk to me before you try to go dig You pockets. didn't want to talk to me. You did not want to you talk to me. I, talked to, I was talking I never, to Davish. We never talked I was once. talking to Davish. I reached, reached out, out to me. you. I, call, I, I definitely called you. you I texted you. I have text messages that were not responded to. I definitely have text After messages. After I called you out. I'm just saying I tried reaching out to you. I tried After I out called you out. And, I, and when I did finally reach out to you, regardless of if the timing was right for you, I said something very nice to you. I said, I know you're going to, I know things are going to work out for you. This business. I said something very nice to you. <laughs> you're an incredible human This is his response. I wish nothing but the best for you. And your response to that really fucking hurt me. I'm, I'm here to say that today on the show. It, it Mike, hurt me. Your actions hurt me every day. But what, what actions? The fact that you would stand up for exactly. me. Exactly. He kind of cooked him right there. So Just, good. he's like, I said something nice. It's like, bro, you really yeah, cooked you my whole job. <laughs> now saying. I'm not the only one no. Well, not him, but like he's defending the action that got his job cooked. This cat's just chilling, okay? He's the third guest of the podcast. Rush spilling over his shit. Don't think I I didn't see you guys take my name and you guys shadow banned my name. They zoomed right in on that just to disrespect him extra. They could have cut that out. This gets no views. I said that. When you guys talk together and you're clipped together, you, you you guys he's not talking to the wall, Mike. He's but, talking to you. But but and you were like, and I know I think you the were biggest. I think the biggest. He's like, that's when I'm in eating mode. Conversation. No, I just think it's just funny. Well, I also just spilled water all over my. He's like, I'm de I'm just defending the check, okay? He literally was playing defense already. He's like, I'm done. I only played defense a little. <laughs> If you give me specific examples, examples of something that I personally did that you that you found pr trouble with, I need, I need three. 
but they're not they're not accurate though. Not reaching out to you. No, I think there's probably just What about just the a, Bobby Lee thing, bro? What did you want me to do about the Bobby Lee? I don't thing? know. Maybe not tell me to shut up after I, I get sexually you to harassed. Shut, I didn't tell you to shut up. I never <laughs> said that. He's like, keep that under the wraps, okay? No, don't take this to the press. Like I don't believe it, bro. It's just patterns. So you got to see the patterns. We'll use you as an example, bro. Yeah, you got to see the patterns. You only like killed a squirrel, fucking. Filmed a dead man that was hung. <laughs> the greatest response, a short with a green screen in the corner. High quality production. a year to be on a show is a little confusing. This is a guy who's sending a screenshot of $11 million a week that he's making. This statement is so crazy that it's almost laughable. That would mean I'm making almost laughable. $72 million a year. I'm nowhere near that. What happened was Prime had a very successful month. I think we did like 60 to 70 million and I sent it to our group checks. I was proud of the business. I was stoked to show the boys and I think George maybe misinterpreted that as like my personal Wow, his issue. personal got 70 M's. Let's go. No, yeah, that doesn't make any sense for sure. But hold on. What did he say about not paying him though? He just like fucking He's just like, but we didn't make that much. <laughs> what did he say about Obviously, George's total reimbursement came out to twenty thousand dollars, three hundred and seventeen cents. I'd love to see any books that show otherwise. Spending one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year to be on a show is a little confusing. This is a guy who's sending a screenshot of a. Okay, so he's saying he paid him twenty k, but he's claiming that he spent more out of pocket. I don't know. So now it's just his word versus the other guy's word. We gotta see now his second response. It's like a diss track war going back and forth. Uh, dollars a week that he's making this statement is so crazy that it's almost laughable that would mean i'm making 572 million dollars a year i'm nowhere near that what happened was prime had a very successful month I think 51 he shows it he's trying to flex on us too <laughs> all right flex on my friends with this i'm gonna flex on you show hit rock bottom and we weren't getting paid i was getting paid five thousand dollars a month but you did make a sizable amount of money on the show and by the way look you see his defense squad going hard in the clip even <laughs> But George made three hundred and seventeen thousand dollars in the fifteen months that he got paid for on Impulsive. The work requirements consisted of about three days a month, uh, three hours each day, traveling the world, networking, and meeting some of the coolest people ever. It comes out to about two thousand three hundred. Wow, that's literally like the most fraudulent job description I've ever seen. That's like if you go on Google and you fucking, it's like join this. You do a survey and you'll fucking get money. Like, look at this. The work requirement <laughs> consisted of about three days a month, uh, three hours each day, traveling the world, networking and meeting. Networking and meeting some, some of the coolest people ever. Who the fuck wrote this? A uh, six-year-old? <laughs> about $2,300 per hour, and he also had 10%. Wait, 2K an hour? All right, sign me up. I'll be Logan Paul's crowder next. Oh, I'm not sure. Come to birthday dinner at least. So I'm trying to make him feel bad. And then on my birthday, you guys shot three episodes, so I couldn't show up. The two episodes he's talking about, not three, were shot four days after George's birthday. His birthday's on January 3rd. We shot those episodes on January 7th. We were already in Vegas signing the UFC to Prime, and as we do... He's like, you dropped them on my birthday, bro. You're supposed to take the day off. One of the things that I love about George, he prioritizes his family yeah. and friends over anything. I got my show going, and... Wow, the Mike is just an expert level crowd, actually, of anybody. What the Wow, you sent him a whole book. What the hell? I'm just... A, wait, hold on. Did you read it out, or...? Right here that I sent him after our conversation. No, he doesn't, of course. You didn't send me evidence for you to send the video... Well, he gets real business on him. I do not find it appropriate to promote one of our biggest competitors. Well, he takes him. He said you can't come until the deal is up. And then gate keeps him. I'm excited to see you at WrestleMania and my birthday dinner. Yeah, it kind of, this is kind of like, this is the text that probably set him off right here. It's too, like, fucking corporate eyes, bro. This looks like it came from a fucking AI, and then he's like, but at the end, he's like, but come to my birthday dinner. They will not let you grow. I thought saying that to Mike was a little crazy. All right, no. That's the best point he had, if all your points are true. <laughs> 
million subscribers since we met. He's a multimillionaire, a best-selling author. I tried as much as I could to help him get into those positions, and it's not entirely because of me. Mike is a well, fan shows of his girl. capitalize on the platform that I gave him, which is awesome. Just like George is doing now, but if that's not... He's like, this man would have no bitches without me. At least I helped Mike do some of the things that he did, and I even encouraged him to start his own podcast. I think you should take a page out of George's book and start... George's book. No yeah, he always hated George. George. He's like, fucking George, bro. A lot of things I would have done differently, but here we are. It saddens me. Here we are. I'm fucking putting him in the mud. <laughs> Black and white image of him for his memorial in the back. 